This has been probably one of the most requested videos on my channel. So many people have tagged me with screenshots of their Duke MK44. It is a 110 round per minute hand cannon. I've actually gotten a lot of these. I'm pretty sure you get this from Tangle Shore. Somebody comment down below though if they know a way of farming this weapon. But let's talk about it. First up, being a 110 round per minute hand cannon, normally these weapons have very low handling as well as low stability. Duke has the highest range stat, base range, out of all the 110 round per minute hand cannons. It has the best stability stat outside of something like Sturm. And it also has one of the best handling stats, only coming second to the Sturm as well. Needless to say, the Duke is one of the best and well-rounded 110 round per minute hand cannons in the game. Now, I've got a lot of different roles. We're gonna talk about the roles that I have, as well as time to kill for this weapon, and what roles you should seek out. First up, time to kill. This is a two crit, one body shot weapon with a time to kill of 1.07 seconds. Not that great. Where it truly shines though, is when you can start landing perks like Kill Clip or Rampage. Both of those perks will allow this gun to turn into a two tapper, giving you the ability to kill any guardian in the game in 0.53 seconds. Put that in perspective guys, that's even faster than things like Not Forgotten and Luna's How. I'm rocking three different Dukes today. One of them is an opening shot ricochet round hip fire grip. I was kind of just playing around with it. I was mainly focusing on opening shot, which seems to play a role here with these slow fire rate weapons. I also picked up another one of these the other day. It came with Zen Moment, ricochet rounds, and moving target. On top of that, it even came with a stability masterwork. That almost seemed like the perfect role, but then I found a role that fit my playstyle. It came with rapid hit, ricochet rounds, and rampage. Now for obvious reasons, I like ricochet rounds here. Extra stability, extra range. That extra range is gonna maintain that you're gonna two crit people when you do obtain Rampage. Rampage is very nice though. It throws that crit shot damage from 91 a crit to 100 per crit, making it very easy to two crit guardians. Now the perk, rapid hit there. Man, is this perk overlooked. This is one of the best perks in the game to have on your weapons, especially guns that you're gonna be landing consistent crits with. Obviously here with these 110s, you wanna be landing those crits. Rapid hit essentially combines two different perks. It combines Zen Moment and Outlaw. Now, if there's two things that these 110 round per minute hand cannons need, it's stability and it's reload speed. And having those two combined into one perk and you simply activate it by not getting a kill with the precision hit, but just hitting precision hits, you can immediately take notice of it after landing crit shots. A very good perk here. So is Duke a hand cannon you should be going after? I think it's a very good hand cannon. If anything, it takes people by such surprise. And it's one of those weapons, the moment you get on a roll, it chews through people. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, why not just use a Sturm? That's right, but remember, Sturm is an exotic. So the benefit of having a Duke here is that it frees up that exotic slot. And I do have the masterwork on Sturm. Sturm feels good with the masterwork, but man, it's not as crispy. Duke here is super crispy here on consoles. Even out of all the 110 round per minute hand cannons I've played with, Steady Hand was a favorite of mine for a long time. Home for a Loss was another one I really liked, especially when paired with Fighting Lion. Bad News, Criminal's Dagger, a lot of good ones. Duke on its own feels way more consistent and it's all around to me the best 110 round per minute hand cannon in the game. So with that being said, let's talk about the god roll so for pvp i really liked rapid hit guys but then there's two other perks that i was very interested in one was opening shots the other being range finder now opening shot you get not just improved accuracy but you also get improved range we saw yesterday from mercules's breakdown for shotguns that opening shot added like an extra 0.5 to that one hit kill potential for shotguns just because you get that improved range on that opening shot so we can see here that it's very useful. Rangefinder though overall just boosts the, the range of the weapon by just increasing the zoom magnification overall when aiming down sights. So I think it's a very good perk. For me though, since I tend to lose grasp of my shot at times, and it can just jump out of my hand. I like rapid hit. Magazine perk here is ricochet rounds. And for that final trait there, guys, all the way, rampage or kill clip. And I wanna say rampage is actually even better here. It's not that you can't utilize kill clip, 
But despite this weapon having nine rounds in a magazine, once you get one stack of Rampage going, you've got a weapon now that can easily get you three more kills in that mag by just landing consistent crits. I mean, I was hogging lanes, and if anything, I dropped a rally barricade a bunch and would just sit there and chew through enemies. And they're just not expecting to get hit that hard. And again, guys, killing people in 0.53 seconds. There's so many weapons you can beat out. As far as PvE goes, Rapid Hit or Outlaw are two of the best perks here. It's not that you can't run with something like Triple Tap. I don't see anything wrong with Triple Tap, but understand it will require you to land those three precision hits in order to take advantage of it. So just having a quicker reload overall seems like the better set of perks there. Light Mag is also a really good one here, especially if you compare it with something like Rapid Hit. And honestly, again, the same thing here. Rampage Kill Clip. Rampage more or less with Rapid Hit, Kill Clip with Outlaw. So guys, that is my review for Duke. A very good legendary 110. One of the best, if not the best in my eyes. Base default stats are very healthy, and I really like the perk combinations we can land here. So overall, guys, try it for yourself. Again, for anyone that knows how to farm this weapon in the most efficient manner, I will pin your comment down below. I'm actually going to be hunting for a ricochet round, rapid hit, rampage with a range masterwork, and I want to put a drop mag on it to add more to that magazine size. And I'm honestly just going to get a barricade and post up in Crucible somewhere and just try to two tap everything that walks so fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right